this lesson, we're going to take a look at a game changing feature that Quix has to offer. This is something that's really exciting. And Quix is the only page builder that gives you this ability. What am I talking about? This is the ability for you to use what's called a Quix rank. If you're building a website, the goal of it is you want for people to be able to find your website. You don't want to create a website that just sits out there in cyberspace. Unfortunately, a lot of beginners, when they create their website, they don't take the time to optimize it properly so Google and other search engines can be able to locate it and share that information with people that are looking for your services. So what these guys have done is they have simplified the process for you. So let's go back on the back end before we come here to talk about this. When you create a new page with Quicks, it is going to show you your SEO and your image optimization um, status here. And if you improve on it, you click here. The goal of the SEO score is that you want to get this to 100%. When you get it to 100% or the higher the number, the better it is. The lower the number means you have a lot of work to do. When you get it to a certain number that's high, like 90 or even 100, then you've done a great job to optimize it. And you want to make sure that your site can be found by people. So let's go back now to the front end here, the visualized page builder. OK, so it's saying that key phrase length, no focus keyword was set for this page. So you would have to set the key phrase and you can click here too um, to get some information about it by clicking on here. It's going to take you to uh, their website and inbound links. It's saying that no outbound links were found in here. So it's giving you things that you need to work on. It's very important that you follow these things and make those changes. So I'm not going to go through all the changes that we see here, but let's take one, for example, the meta description length is saying that this is too short. So let's go to the settings and we're going to go to SEO setting. The, the description, this is the description right here. So it's saying that it's under 120 characters. So what I'm going to do now is I am just going to copy this and then just uh, paste it again, clone it again. Uh, that should be 120 if not is going to let us know. Now, you don't have to do this as I'm doing here. Just write the proper description based on your website. And I'm going to put the keyword. Uh, let's just click apply. Now, when I click apply, you notice that a few things happen here. You see a few more greens. Now, this is incredible. This is happening as you are working on your site, which is excellent because it helps you to make sure that your site can be ranked very well. So let's take a look at this meta description length. It's saying that it's, it's over 150 characters, 56 characters to ensure that it's a little bit shorter. So let's go back there again and we're going to work on this. So let's come here and I am going to delete parts of this. So let's delete this here and see what we get. It's that 120. Let's click and apply. Okay, still at 156. Now, this is the fun part about SEO. You have to come in, you have to make whatever changes and you want to, you know, get as close to what you're looking for. Now, as you can see, we've accomplished what we're going for. The green, the meta description as well. The 120 is saying well done. And then your SEO title with the SEO title with is too short. Um, you can be able to come back and add a little more. All that stuff can be done through the SEO part right here. So you might want to add a little bit more uh, for the SEO title. It's just telling that it's a little bit too short. Uh, so let's see something here. Let's copy this and we're going to paste it and let's see what we get. OK, so now we've accomplished something there that's saying that we've we've uh, reach uh, the green. The key phrase length is green, the title. So as you can see here, I'm just going through these here based on the recommendations that I'm getting. And this is happening as you work on your site. So you want to go to you no know, outbound link. So you want to scroll down on your website um, to see where you want to put an outbound link. And the system here, the Quicks rank is going to let you know you see that based on the changes that we've made, we're at seven to nine percent. We started at zero, but we're seven nine percent. So we're searching. Uh, let's just say uh, we want to look for keyword about uh, fitness, and you search, and it's going to show you all the key, like the fitness you put on here is going to show you highlighted on that as part of your description. So you want to make sure that you're following these here. Um, and then you can also check to on your mobile preview. You can check to on your desktop. 
to see how everything is going to look. You scroll up and down, you see how it's going to look. Now your score is at 79%, okay? So once again, I just wanted to demonstrate for you how to make those changes. It is up to you now to follow the rest of uh, the assessment that you're getting from Quicks. So you have 79%, don't forget to click save when you're done. If you just delete everything and don't click save, then you're going to lose all the hard work that you put in. So feel free to go through your site, inspect it, and see what you're able to come up with. Now, one thing to note here is that once we are optimizing it, you notice that this image optimization is turned red. So let's click on this. We are going to re-optimize these images. And the reason why you re-optimize the images is because you want things to load faster. Okay, I cover this in a previous video. I talk about the percentages, the quality, and how that works. So let's click re-optimize. And once it's successful, you get this message here at the bottom. Now you have 79. You can change, let's see where can we add an outbound link. Um, do I add a link somewhere in here? We can come in. Now let's not put that there. Just scroll. So I'm just scrolling through here to to make changes based on these recommendations. So all to image um, attributes, none. So feel free to go through your site and activate this to see what you come up with. So let's go over to click on save. Now once you've clicked on save, you notice that this image optimization is green. Let's go to the back end and see what we've got. So now it is going to let you know that your SEO score is 79% and your images you're, have been optimized, which is what you're going for. So if you follow this process and you work on individual pages, I guarantee you're going to see tremendous results with your SEO. And that is why this is a major game changer because you don't have to download any third party extensions again um, to optimize things. You can do this with Quicks directly on your website and you can check too how things look on different browsers so make sure that you go through your seo and and check the assessment here and make the changes that you need so you can rank better